In this video, I'm going to share with you our essentials for full-time winter RV living, episode two. And we're starting right now. Bam. What's up, YouTube? I hope all is well in your world. My name is Aaron with RetailsRV.com. Welcome to another video. Before we get into today's video, I want to take a moment to set a goal of 100 likes for this video. And I do appreciate your help in achieving this goal. If this is your first time here and you want to see more RV related projects, RV tips, tricks, and all types of other RV related stuff, make sure that you hit the subscribe button now. With that out of the way, let's get started with today's topic. In our previous video in this series, we discussed the options on how to seal up your RV by keeping it warm during the winter months. If you have not yet watched that video, I recommend that you check it out. There is a link in the tab above or in the description below. Now that we've gotten our RV airtight, we have a new problem, moisture. Moisture gets into your RV from cooking, washing dishes, taking showers, and breathing. As it gets colder, this moisture condenses onto cooler inside surfaces like windows, door frames, and doors. This can lead to mold, mildew, water stains, and even worse. Ew, seriously? That is so gross. The best way to prevent condensation is to avoid inducing excessive moisture into the air. A good practice is to always use a range hood when cooking and a bathroom vent when showering. This will help to draw most of the moisture out of the RV. It may be necessary to keep a roof vent open slightly to provide some ventilation and keeping the condensation in check. Insulating exposed surfaces that tend to collect moisture will also help. The use of small dehumidifiers, air dry airs, or damp rid may be necessary. Now our RV is airtight and moisture free, we have to discuss the method of heating that we will use in our RV. When propane is burned, it releases large quantities of air vapor. Most standard RV furnaces are fenced to the outside of the RV and will not add any moisture to the inside air. This is not true of any unvented propane heaters or stovetop burners. You will need to provide some sort of ventilation to remove additional moisture in the air. Using them as a primary source of heat during cold weather can potentially add to the condensation problems. Many RVers often choose to use portable electronic heaters to heat their RV. This method of heating does not add condensation to the air, may be slightly cheaper to run. Take care not to overload the wiring in your RV or the electronic systems in your campground. Most parks will either put you on an electronic meter or they will charge you extra for the heat and remember to use UL approved heaters. And now for the question of the day. What alternate forms of heat do you use in your RV? And how do you reduce moisture in your RV? Let us know in the comment section below and you just might help out other viewers of this video. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't done so yet, remember to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, you can click the round icon to subscribe to this channel. You can click on the square icon to head over to 3 or you can find more RV related projects and other related topics. And if those do not interest you, then you can click on one of the videos here on the side. Lori and I would like to thank you for following along today. Live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride. And we'll see you next time.